here I sit in my living room, which is where all my videos are going to be shot, <laughs> with two acoustics side by side. This is kind of like uh, my acoustic journey, so to speak. This thing right here, which if you look close enough, you can see has like cracks in the body. But if you look inside, there is no actual crack on the wood inside. So to the best of my knowledge, the bridge might be coming up a tad, but not really. I tightened it all up. It seems like it's okay. This is a 12 string acoustic. I got that when I was 16 years old. I'm uh, 47, I think. Yeah, I, uh -huh. who knows? You get to this age, you kind of start forgetting how old you are. I'm around 47 years old, so you do the math. I've had this very long time. Um, and I pretty much thought this was, this is an Ovation Celebrity from like the 90s. And I pretty much thought this was a goner, okay? This was originally a 12 string guitar. Uh, the tuning heads, were, a lot of them were kind of shot. So what I did was I actually, I cannibalized them and I kept the six best ones and I turned it into a six string acoustic. It's not bad for an acoustic guitar. The tuning stability is a little wonky because, like I said, the some of the tuners are still a little whacked. I had bought um, an Epiphone Hummingbird acoustic guitar, uh, electric. Uh, it was also like it had a pickup, so you could you could plug it in as well. Acoustic electric. And after the honeymoon period, when I first bought it, I thought it was beautiful and I liked it. I started to notice that it didn't sound very big. It wasn't a very full sounding acoustic guitar. It was kind of weak sounding for better, uh, you know, for lack of a better description. It was, it wasn't very loud. It was kind of weak. And I had decent acoustic strings on it at the time. It had good action. It played pretty comfortably. But I just never jobbed with that guitar. I, I never gelled with it. So I ended up selling that guitar. I walked into a uh, small music store called Symphony Music Shop in Dartmouth, Massachusetts. It's close to where I live. Um, and I hadn't been in there in years. I actually went in there just to buy acoustic guitar strings because I you know, was fixing this up and I, was, and I wanted to get strings for something else too at the time. Well, I walk in, I walk in the back, and there's a ton of acoustic guitars for sale. All brand new stuff in really good shape. I'm looking around and I see this. Now I originally had, uh, when, I, when I was around 17, 18 years old, I had a black Washburn acoustic guitar that I sold because it had some issues. So when I started thinking about the fact that, well, maybe I could use a slightly better acoustic guitar for recording just to have one around, I didn't need all the acoustic electric crap because I mean, I'll throw a mic in front of it. If I'm going to play live, I'll, I'll mic myself. It doesn't really matter. I wanted a nice big fat body dreadnought guitar because that's the sound that I'm used to as far as an acoustic guitar is concerned. Um, that's the sound that I like when I, when I play an acoustic guitar. So I saw this thing hanging on the shelf. This sucker right here. This is a brand new model from Washburn. Um, it's just Washburn uh, D Fed U is what it says inside. but. It is a deep forest ebony dreadnought. They also sell an acoustic electric version of this one. The body of this guitar, this is an ebony top. The sides are what's called okum, I guess. They say it's, you know, keeps the sound warm. It's a mahogany neck, and they say it's a, what, what, what are the words they actually used to describe the wood on this? engineered wood fretboard, whatever that means. I, I know rose wood's getting a little tricky to find. I guess the whole idea behind this thing is that it's, it's designed to be inexpensive and sound nice. It's not a cheap laminate thing, it's actually ebony. And these things retail for $279.99. At the time, I thought they were a little bit more expensive, but they retail around 280 bucks. I got this for around 260 because 
I don't know if you can see it, but in the headstock, there is a little bit of a ding in the top of the headstock right around there. I kind of marked it so you can't see it. I guess somebody was putting it back in the store and he hit the fan or something like that. Otherwise, the thing is in perfect shape. got a nice sound to it actually it sounds really good it's big it's bright it sounds really nice um, so hey I, I, I said screw it I was in the shop <laughs> you know I wasn't really looking for an acoustic guitar but at like 265 or so dollars with tax and whatnot I was like you know what you can't beat it I literally went back the next it was the next day and I bought the guitar I bought this acoustic guitar it came strung up with um, with 12s on it and you know i didn't mind the strings that were on it it wasn't so bad but it was a little hard to play because my, my fingers aren't really used to 12s i play lighter well i, I put 10s on my uh, on most of my acoustic guitar i uh, my electric guitars sorry i put 10s on my electrics so 12s on an acoustic it's like playing rope you know but i can deal with 11s this is a uh, 11 gauge uh, acoustic strings these are actually martin uh, authentic acoustic 11 11 I'm not sure what the top but it's 11 gauge strings um, and they sound really nice these are 8020s uh, phosphor bronze basically and they were a little bright because some people find these to be a little cheap and I think I would go with the straight phosphor bronze over the 8020 next time but my only problem that I had with this guitar is flat out it uh, the bridge on the guitar you put 12s on this thing the action is high I was getting like six, almost seven um, 64ths on the height, on the low E, and it was like five 64ths on the high. Now, for some people, that's kind of standard acoustic. You know, playing acoustics kind of high, but but for me, I, I wasn't really a fan of that ridiculously high action. Like for me, that felt really kind of high and hard to play. So. I decided, well, if you can get this bridge out, you can file it down yourself and you can kind of lower the action on your acoustic guitar. This bridge is glued in there. This thing is not coming out. So if you need to adjust this yourself, you're gonna have to bring this to, uh, to somebody who can take care of that. Or if you know what you're doing, then great. Um, I couldn't do it. I, I actually almost damaged the bridge trying to get it out in the process. So I stopped before I screwed anything else up. But what I noticed is if I adjust the truss rod so the neck is almost perfectly straight, the fretwork is really good on this. It's actually, there's no sprouty fret ends. Uh, everything seems to be pretty even as far as the frets are concerned. I can put like 11s on this, lighter gauge 11s, and that brings the action down to like about just a tad over 5 64ths on the, high, on the low E and a tad over 4 64ths on the high E. And for me, 5 64, 4 64, that's what I use on my electrics. Some people, that's like medium action, I guess you could say. So for an acoustic guitar, that's great. It feels really nice and comfortable. nice it has a nice sound to it now personally I mean I'm happy now I, I have an acoustic I mean I got two of them I got two freaking acoustics now I got this sucker which is still you know usable aside from to me the satin finish and the little uh, the uh, the white ring around the the sound hole they look a little cheap when you look at it from a distance. I don't know, it, it, it doesn't, it looks a little cheaper to me when you look at it, but it does look pretty nice actually. It plays pretty nice. My only real complaint 
with this guitar is the tuners, which I feel like at some point I'm probably going to have to change out because my high E tuner is a little wonky and loose. It holds tune, and it's fine, and it, it feels generally okay. I've tried tightening them up. It doesn't really make much of a difference. So maybe at some point that's going to need to be changed. But generally speaking, it's an acoustic guitar, and it plays nice. I mean, it does what an acoustic should do, a big body acoustic. It has a little bit of a warmer sound to it, which is what supposedly the Okum sides in the back and the ebony as well will add to it. Um, this engineered wood fretboard is not bad. I, I was able to lemon oil it when I set it up and it looked a little nicer. Um, if you look, you can't really see it. It's interesting how they designed this guitar because the uh, there seems to be a lip around the fretboard. The fretboard, does it's almost like it doesn't lead right to the end. It's almost like there's a uh, a lip around the edges of it and the fretboard is placed inside it. It's, it's weird. I haven't normally seen a guitar like that. And if you look at it, you can actually see where the line is, where the lip, where it kind of glues together. You can see it on the top and on the, on the bottom. The bottom is the most obvious. So I hope as time goes on, that doesn't lead to the fretboard rising up. I mean, let's be honest, it's a, it's a sub $300 acoustic guitar. But really, for something that you're gonna use just to lay down tracks or sit around a campfire and play songs and, you know, play some, you know, coffee house gigs or something like that, this is perfectly fine. Yeah, if you're looking for an acoustic guitar, Washburn Deep Forest Ebony, uh, D, DFED-U, DFEDU is the actual product number for this. Deep Forest Ebony um, Dreadnought is what I have here. They also make an acoustic electric version that's got like a cutaway here instead. Like it, and um, yeah. So if you're looking for a decent, inexpensive acoustic, I don't think you can go wrong with these. Like, from my personal experience, it's not that bad. I mean, unless you're looking for a Taylor or a Martin, you're gonna spend like four grand on an acoustic. I found that the Epiphone ones, which tend to be a little bit more expensive, more in the six, seven hundred dollar range, are actually not as good sounding as this. This sounds better. Um, surprisingly, Washburn's a halfway decent company, and they have quite a few different models with different color, with different uh, you know color schemes and whatnot. So yeah. So here, I'm gonna I'll play just a little bit more so you can actually get some more playing on the guitar, but uh... my cowboy chord acoustic playing but uh regardless not a bad guitar for the price sub three hundred dollars it fits the bill it sounds nice it um records well so yeah this is what you're looking for so i, I hope this is helpful um i'm jay Byrne, of course this is the effects loop uh if you like this kind of content like subscribe share comment you know the whole deal but um yeah be back with some more videos coming soon. 
Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.